Hi, what's up everybody? This is Zawadi. Welcome, welcome. I'm just here to say hi to all you Click Team Fusion noobs because I'm also a noob. But I don't have the noob edition. I have the developer edition. So, so don't worry if mine looks purple and yours is red. That only means you have the, the base game like this, this color. And that's okay. Not the base game, but the software. And uh, it doesn't matter if you have the developer edition or the, the base edition, you know, the standard. You're, you're still going to learn... Uh, how to use it and it's not going to uh, stifle your learning or be a deterrent it is not you're not gonna have to jump through hurdles just to learn how to program with click team fusion it's not gonna stop you from learning it's only gonna stop you from being able to publish to Xbox or Apple or any kind of Android program you know it's gonna stop you from doing that but not from learning all right, that's what the purple edition is for. That's what my edition is for. I call it the Zawadi edition. Anyway, that's stupid. Okay, whenever you come to your game and you may not have your library toolbar showing, you might just have your properties at the bottom, mines is at the top, but you're gonna have your properties at the bottom and your work toolbar probably up here. Don't worry about it because you're still gonna be able to see it and open it, so don't worry about it. Okay, all right. Now, when you open up a new application like that, you just go and click on that little white sheet of paper. You double click this. Oh, if you don't, I'm sorry, if you don't see your toolbars, go here. Go to View and Toolbar and go and check off that if you don't see it. Go and check off what you don't see and what you need to see if it's not showing. All right, then you can double click this. And it doesn't matter where it is on the screen. I'm, I'm used to having my application list up here and my properties and library toolbar down here. You can even put your library toolbar under here. You can move it around or whatever. So this is going to open up. Don't worry about this space. This is where you need to see stuff that's in your game. Okay, and this is your screen that you're working with. Let's look at our game, shall we? Look at that. Look at our game right here. We have absolutely nothing. That's not going to fly. Okay, we got to make something. So you click on your insert object, put your active object in here. And if you don't have the little thing that snaps, 32 by 32 little grid, don't worry about it. If it's not on, you can go and put it on. If it's off like this, you can go and turn it on by turning this on here. Turn it on there. And it's still not perfect. That's okay. But this is what you need. The snap grid. Or or show the grid, I'm sorry, but snap it to grid, you go and click on this also. And is it gonna snap it perfectly in place if you want everything to line up perfectly? I like that. Very, very nice. For all you OCD people out there, you might want to use that snap to grid. Alright, what else do we need to know? Oh, you want to know what you have access to. If you really have all that stuff that all the modules that you think you're supposed to have, let's go and find out. You go to insert object, you go to the manager. Look at that, I can I can publish to Xbox and Windows and to the Windows App Store and the Windows Desktop, even the Chrome App Store. I can make HTML5 games. Anything that's Android, I can make a game for it. Any Mac, Windows, and any Apple. All those iPads and Macs, all that good stuff too. Right here, Mac. All right, this is how I know I, I can do that. All right. And uh, you should know because you bought it, so you should know what you have and don't have. It's kind of just common knowledge, I think. All right. Uh, but yeah, all of your Android stuff, and you want to look at it, see what's in here. Refresh that. Look at that, that UWA, WIA, O-U-W-A, that little console there that nobody uses. You can even develop for that. And Lead Bolt and all this other stuff, and Add Mob. And everything that's for advertising for people that make free games for the Google Play Store then that's that's for you and that's where you find it all right graphics and animation yeah I need to learn more about that also the networks if you're making a, 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 a good game you're gonna need to know all of that stuff me I gotta learn all about the I I in I files networks I gotta know some things about the iOS um, I I love the physics part. That's that's the that's the funnest part of Click Team Fusion using all those physics, making all those blocks fall and everything. Kind of like when I was two years old, I used to do that a lot. My sister told me, and uh, it seems like some things just never change. All right, that's it for uh, my tutorial. 
But when you want to get to the tutorial and really learn something in this game, you go to help. Go to help here and click on tutorial. You're going to have access to everything. Like I said, I may have said this before, after you've done Choco Break, everything else is pretty much elementary. Um, you're learning your way around and it, it gets a lot easier just going through that first tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you do it and it's it's fairly easy. It, I mean, it's just you just follow the directions on the screen. Open it up here, you go to step one. It'll tell you basically to open the game and where do you get your workspace and how do you show your workspace and things like that. Um, and by the time you finish, you have a, a, a good working knowledge on how to find what you need to find on here. The physics, like I said before, this is my favorite part. I, I like learning about the physics and doing different things with physics and things like that. One tutorial that I've never done, and I think they removed one, but one I have never completed because it wasn't there when I first got Click Team Fusion is this one here, which is called the Faulty Flap Tutorial. I'm probably going to do this this weekend, but I'm going to put my head here instead and hit it around some, on some pipes maybe. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for the tutorial. Also, when you click on your screen for the first time, you can also go in a little list on the side and open the tutorial. You can also download tutorials. Basically, whenever you download it, you go here to open it. After you've downloaded, when you do open it, you're going to go here. Your storyboard, you're going to open it. It's going to show up here. I'm sorry. It's going to show up in your workspace toolbar. I'm just used to seeing this on top. You're going to, it's going to, your applications are going to show up here. For me, how would that be helpful if I want to look at somebody's game? I would open it if they're down, you know, they've given it to me to download and to look at, to learn from. I would, it would show up in my applications. I would go to it. I would open it like this. And then I would go to the event editor because I would learn on how they programmed it. That's, that's the learning for me. I would go here. All of this is going to be your code in this area. Yeah. So, uh, I still need to do some tutorials. I still need to learn some basic things. Um, I remember when the first time I created raindrops in Click Team Fusion, I was so excited because it looked like rain and I actually drew it and it splashed and everything. I was really excited. So I'll come back with that or I'm going to link a video to you of the person that showed me how to make rain. I'll go and link his channel, which is the almighty Zen Taco, which is a pretty good uh, basic and intermediate teacher of Click Team Fusion. For the people that need some good basic tutorials he's a good person to go to and also you need to go to the click team forums to go and find where they have paid a paid school for click team you have so many tutorials and it's a lifetime membership and it never ends you always have access to it how about that all right people i got some learning to do and whatever i learned i will come back and i will show you i'm gonna go make that flappy pipe game where i smack my face across some uh oil pipelines or whatever. Oh God. I'm out of here, people. This is Click Team Fusion 2.5. Get it if you don't have it. Maybe invest, ask your parents to invest in something that is um, educational for you instead of music and uh, money for drugs. I'm out of here. Take care.